All right, there's the village raided stat, and welcome back, guys, from the last episode. We ended that one out before showing the village raid stat. They only killed three this time, um, so that's pretty good. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you're all well. This is uh, Vanquisher mode, so the hardest difficulty on Farthest Frontier, and the traders just come in. So um, we're going to continue on with what we've been doing, um, and that is pretty much, well, we're going to buy in those. And I'm also going to buy in some jackets. That is great. But yeah, we're going to continue to uh, keep rebuilding. Um, we're going to solidify and make this a little bit stronger. So we're working on this. All this stone. I think what we need to do, if I'm honest, is max the uh, stone thing out for now. I'm just going to max out a lot of my miners for a minute. And then everything else should be all right. If we can buy sand or something just to kind of top that up, that would be great. We're not seeing it at the moment. There's not many resource traders coming, unfortunately. Um, what I will say is we have a stupid amount of gold, so we can kind of sacrifice other things to achieve that goal. At the moment, though, the deep sand mine as well. We're going to get one more in there. I know this is going to hit our bottom line of laborers, but we did have a little bit of a surge of people growing up. We've got 51 in the elderly, though, but uh, yeah, plenty of adults and stuff now, so we're a little bit more stabilized. We've got all these towers and stuff being built. Uh, a really ugly little corner section, which I don't want to talk about. But five more births and one emigrated to, so that is perfect. I don't want to put a wall around that one yet. I'm kind of just leaving that. I'm hoping they never really attack that way. I don't think they will. Let me just check here. We'll keep one in there. Well, yeah, we'll just keep one in each of those. Um, they don't seem to push this area much anymore, but there's still a bit of area where they can spawn. Doesn't seem to be the play, though, so we'll let those kind of do their thing. I'm just going to leave the minimum in these guys. We'll probably... Just one in each. Always the best thing to do. I can see that certain soldiers are intoxicated. So that means there's still too much beer in the town. Let's, let's get that transferred out. We're not having another massacre of that as well. Um, yeah, lots of repairs to still happen as well. And lots of rebuild to go here. And I'm also going to go ahead and get another tower over here. So I know these are now attached. So I want to work this out in a way that is going to be beneficial uh, let's go there. And then we can start by just getting the basics around it. So I'm not going to touch that just yet. I'm going to make sure that they can build the inner ones first. We'll go like that. Gates are fine. There we go. And uh, yeah, we'll get one more tower over there. Then that should just slow it down a little bit more. I still maybe think now moving these two out might be a good idea and using them elsewhere. Or maybe reducing the soldiers down. I don't know. Um, if you didn't know, in a watchtower, whether you have one or two in there, I believe it's still 12 flat rate regardless on the big ones. So, but again, gold is just ridiculously good. Now, we are going to hit a problem when the spices disappear. So, we really, really need a trader to turn up with the goods for us. But uh, we'll continue on either way. We've got a good amount of food as always. Hopefully that's going to continue to help us with emigration here. We've got spots for just over 100 more people to come in as well. And this one is finally almost done. It just needs two stones. So I'm hoping that does continue. There's nowhere left for us to kind of harvest. So I also think us putting this infinite sand mine down here. I'm kind of tempted to move it, you know. don't know if you can move it. I'd love to kind of go over here. And then we can continue to maybe force spawns over this way. I don't know. I think once they're built, though, you can't relocate. So we'd have to do it a different way. Because that's quite a long way for them to walk as well. Five newborn as well. So we're back over 600. Um, let's try it. Let's try it. So let's go resources here. Let's go deep sand mines. We might need to move this around, actually. Oh, it's letting me put it there. Perfect. Okay. I don't know whether that affects anything but we, yeah we're gonna get that in then so that doesn't actually cost us anything on the stuff there so i'm actually gonna go ahead then and i'm gonna salvage that build and let's get rid and uh, that should change the fog of war a little bit more so we'll only be up to like here and i think that might then allow a little bit of a spawn area to potentially be there for the the soldiers to attack now this is the main blacked out bit anyway um, and there's no issues with it always spawning over there, to be fair. Uh, let me think about this. Yeah. Nope. Change of plan. I'm leaving it as is, so I'm going to cancel this one. Let's uh, let's cancel that. There's no resources in there yet either, so no. We're about to chop the tree, but that's fine. Let's get rid of that. 
Let's keep it as is. Actually, I like the idea of them not spawning so much over there. Um, they can spawn this bit. I might put something over here. I, you know what? I have an idea. So if we go Origin Shack, what I might do is just, just slap a Forager Shack over here just for the extra. And what I'll also do is get a Hunter's Shack out here. Just out in the middle of nowhere. And we'll get that one kind of just hunting over here as well. There's plenty over here anyway. So just to make sure that they never spawn like over here. And uh, yeah, always spawning up here is great. So less likely to spawn this area. And if they do, they hit the paths and come this way anyway. Into either these four or these five it will be. <laughs> but we need a lot of stone. So we can hit... A purchase of stone or sand, we are happy. So what issues? We've got wheat and rye. So after that one, then, we should be okay. Uh, we might need to change that up, but we'll see. The diseases are kind of disappearing themselves anyway. So here we go. And there it is. We've got the spice trader just in time. And you know what? There's a load of wheat there as well. So we'll buy that in. We'll also buy in, uh, let's say, 150. So we don't run out, we don't waste any. That should be a really good amount. And there's nothing we can kind of sell to them. We do have a little bit of a surplus going on the uh, thingy there. But what's really good here is... Well, what's going on? Weird. Let's do that. There we go. We'll transfer the gold back over as well. We should be good. 6.05 though. Lots of bursts happening as now. So I think we're finally on top of that. The food is definitely the thing that makes the world a difference here. And I, maybe we could get in... Bit of a buffer of sand as well. Let's get 207 in. Where's that attacking? Are you going to win that fight? You're not going to win that fight. Run to the tower. What I'm going to do is get this guy. This lady, sorry. He's a legend. Let's get you over this way when. And let's watch the bear die because it deserves it. Into the tower. You get up there. And we're going to have to slow this down, hopefully. Why aren't you shooting? Oh, you're kidding me. He's bloody over here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Probably dead. Then. <laughs> you can't make this up, can you? Of course it's shelter stocking. Yep, I'm sorry, Wen. <laughs> you can't make that up. I tried, you know. I was thinking, why the hell aren't you shooting? Oh, well, it is what it is. He's not even going to get back in. All these guys are just going to get attacked now. Oh, well. Hopefully they run all the way back here. Oh yeah, Bear's decided to do a runner, so that's fine. Okay, unnecessary death again, but that's just pure unluck yeah, once again, isn't it? Right, let's see how we're built back over here. So still rebuilding everything. That is fine. So I think we need to make sure the towers are the thing that's always prioritized here because if we get attacked and they're not ready, that is a scary thought. I can deal with... Because they, they basically weaken everything, don't they? And it's always helpful. How are we looking here? So, 45 labor. He's expecting like 60, yeah, 63 to be okay. I think, nah, that's fine. We have maxed out the stone thing, so, to be honest, it's a bit naff. Hey, we got a trader that's selling stone. Right, I'm buying it all. There we go. Perfect. And then I'll get a little bit more gold in, so we're buffered there just fine. Right, problem solved. Let's get all of this done then, guys. Let's fix all our buildings. Um, I'm not going to bother with um, doubling up any of these stuff. And uh, I'm just going to leave that as it is over here. Uh, we're still ticking over nicely, I think. Yeah, just need, again, all these children to kind of grow up and we'll be happy days. Not seeing any waste issues or anything still. I mean, population hasn't actually increased very much recently, so that's fine. Um, due to our own misfortune and bad fighting, I won't lie to you. Right, let's get rid of this wheat, and then hopefully we can get rid of this diseased stuff over here. How are these farms looking as well? I think these guys are looking really good now. Over the time, the fertility has just increased tremendously, so I'm quite happy with where these ones are at, and they are producing us a lot of food. All right, with this one here then, so we are going to go ahead and upgrade straight away. So I'm going to set this to be on the same zone, but I'm also going to get a little bit more, and we'll get traps going on this one as well. Right, so what do we make of this? I mean, there's only so much you can do with the graveyard. Now that I think about it, if you left a square for this to be in the middle, you could actually make it quite nice and have it kind of out of the way. 
Um, but at the moment, I don't think there's much more we can do with how it's placed without cutting into this stuff. And I don't want to do that. I think for now, that'll just do. Uh, I, you've given me some ideas for next time I play. Um, what I what I could potentially do with a shrine or maybe the temple. And put the graves behind it, so you should... Yeah, I mean... Would you have a graveyard at a temple, though? Not really. I guess it depends on the religion. I won't really get into that, but I know obviously a church or cathedral will have graveyards, but... Other religions, I'm not sure, to be honest. Alright, more attacks by bears as well. It's fine. We're going to get through this winter period. I have uh, just upped the amount of people in here, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly harvest, so I can keep that on. I'm just going to set a little bit of trees. I think we've pretty much cut down all the ones in here, but we've got some over here. I might just go something like that, or just harvest a few trees here. And this one is just finished right in front of me, so we're going to up the amount of traps that they can use. Now, that does mean that we need to keep an eye on our iron. I'm loving our resources at the moment, though. I think the cheese and stuff is keeping us good. So let's check in on our smokers as well, actually, because we are producing a lot more meat now. I want to make sure they're okay. All right. There's no idle time on anything other than that one. So that's a fish. And that one's a normal. So what I could do is go something like that. Just change that to do meat when it's waiting for fish. And look at that. Fourborn, one immigrated. I'm waiting for the death. Usually comes at the same time. It didn't happen. Lovely. Right, through the winter then. Let's go. All right, the fresh year is upon us. Year 98. So we're expecting... Is it an attack this year or next year? I think it is this year. Hopefully this upgrade gets completed before then, so we are good. But everything has been repaired in time, and we've got a nice surplus of stone. So I'm just going to leave them in. I'm going to grab even more stone in. Um, one thing I do need to check on, though, is where we're at with these guys. I think we're okay. Um, yeah, we got enough space, I think. The only other thing is whether we... What do we want to do? Why is this one... Ah, I upgraded this one. It's bloody producing iron as well. Although we could do that. There's no harm in that, actually. Yeah, there's no harm in that. Let's get a second person in there as well. So they'll do iron when they're waiting. Um, got loads of iron ore in. So I think the only other thing with doing that is we're going to need to make sure the coal is back up and running. Let's go 10. Another nice little berth there as well. So we're, we're safely into the 600s now. 610. So there's been 15 already this episode. So I've definitely got it sussed. I mean... I almost want to play again straight away, you know. Surely I know I have a little gap in between. We'll probably wait for the next update, though, before we do another one. Because I know the next update is going to cater to me massively. Because we can get full-on RTS with our fights and stuff. I know there are a couple of people watching that just say the attacks are pointless. You don't get anything. Um, it's one of those, really. It kind of adds the element of tower defense to it. And gives you a bit of a difficulty factor. This is what's great about these types of games, right? You can turn it off if you want. I personally like the attacks, whether they hinder me or not, just for that reason. Um, it just adds a bit to the game for me. Peaceful's great if you wanted to practice builds, but yeah, that, that's the reason why. I'm just buying in some coal, and I'm also going to buy in a little bit more iron, just there's no harm in buffering that, right? Um, and if there's anything else we could buy, I don't think so. What I've noticed is a lot of people buy the raw gold ore. Now, I'm not sure whether it's worth more. I think it's five pieces that makes... 100 though so i think you're better off smelting it but you, that is a money maker if you just wanted to sell the raw gold ore as well um this seems to be stuck at 21 which is great as well um tools i think if we buy some in it does help productivity but at the same time they're charging too much we could just go back to making them we are making some uh they just don't make much you know i've got a better idea then so let's do this and then we'll keep the heavy tool at that. Let's see if that ratio helps us a little bit. See if we can start to get a few more tools in and get people working a little bit better. Um, we're good on most things. See, the heavy weapons, I want to be able to say that we've got more of those in stock ready. But this is looking a little bit healthier on the labor here. I know people aren't building, but I'm going to go up to 45 builders now to help with repairs. And the merchants are coming in. So let's go to number two. And we've got a beer buyer, which is fantastic. And we've got a plate mail seller. I'm actually going to also buy in some barrels. Get another source of food for everyone. The source of food, the only reason you ever need the extra sources of food is to get them upgraded. Actually, funnily enough, once they're upgraded, it doesn't matter. Um, I think you make more money in the market. There's no breakdown for it, unfortunately. But 
to make more money in the markets based on that. Um, the reason I bought the barrels in, by the way, is to try and get rid of this extra food loss. So there's obviously some buildings that didn't have barrels in, like the food storage buildings. These are full. These two guys. Yeah, that one. So we've bought the barrels in. They should hopefully they use them already. They have. Maybe I buy in some more. Hey, I didn't notice this before, but look at the uh, paved garden and the ornamental tree. Look how they weave in nicely together. Man, population's flying. But yeah, so you could use that to your advantage, actually. You could weave a few of these gardens together, make a giant one. Very, very nice. I might do something with that. Even this one fits in nicely, so... Hmm, I reckon you could fit the park in to fit with those. It doesn't look like it, the small one you'd have to go with, maybe. One thing I haven't done a lot of is the large park. It is huge, though, but it does cover a big area. Um, there's not That's all arborist now, isn't it? So there's not a lot we can do there. That doesn't fit, but we could potentially flatten this area and make a nice little park area. That well could probably do with moving in. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's how the large park looks. It definitely looks nice. Um, I'm quite happy with the decoration. I think maybe something in here. We've got a couple of houses along here that could do with getting that last tick over. I think they've got enough, but let's see. What do we want to go with? Ah, it's just upgraded right in front of me there, look. Uh, I kind of think a couple of these guys. So you can get the park, you can get the, the small one you need by clicking in and out. There's no way of cycling through, unfortunately, but you can definitely get the ones you need. So two of similar will go in there, and we'll build that out. I might get a couple of trees in there as well. Oh, I just want to point out, I had a little bit of a mention saying there's blueberry bushes in my uh, my thing here, and that I should move them all in. It's one of the early things I did, and I didn't notice a single blueberry bush that we can put them all together. I'm just going to quickly go over them if you're still watching. Um, I'm pretty sure that all of them are Hawthorn, as you can see. And you can not you can only move the blueberry bushes, so I'm pretty sure there's not a single blueberry bush on this map. Might be wrong. And they... oh, there's one right there. Okay, so that can be moved. They're all Hawthorn, so so far we've got one. It's a shame you can't plant your own. There's a couple there, a couple there. All right, there are a couple then. Um, so that might be something we do. Let's get that gathered together. So where should we put them? Yeah, if you didn't know, you can move a blueberry bush. So where's our... Okay, they're over here. So we are technically already doing it. So they're already covered in all the zones, actually. So I don't think there's any benefit. Maybe move this one into uh, here. Go like, I don't know, that'll do there, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure all of them are there though. Unlo we got pretty unlucky with that actually. There's not many. Uh, I think these are all covered by the tray, the, the pickers anyway. And yeah, so there's only about ten in total. There are some maps where you can get massive amounts of blueberry bushes um, on some good seeds, and you can just move them all in one place. I know that is a thing. Don't really do it though. But yeah, it could be pretty good for pickling. I also did have the other mention about my pickling place for this. So we should up the pickling on. Although, we want to do... I think we reduce that one down. We go fruit and veg. Let's try that. Uh, lots more being born though as well. We do need more. I think we may balance out. If we can... If we can... Yeah, look. If we can get a decent... Uh, let's go 46. If we can get a decent attack defense without killing off too many people we are in a good spot uh, here comes the new trader as well so I'm, I'm more looking for anything i can buy off them now instead of selling because uh, we're not really doing the whole selling thing anymore we're not needed just spices i mean we're making some gold we don't have that much in stock if there's anything that potentially could be uh, maybe bricks again doesn't sell very often though i'll be honest with you um and i don't really want to get rid of the shoes or the soap or the linen clothes. They're things I want to just keep in a surplus when we can. Because I've noticed flax is sometimes running out. So if I can keep a surplus of them, we're happy. Spices are good for a few years. And let's see if that pickling makes the world of difference here. So we're pretty much hoovering up every berry that we can on the map. Um, let's check. There is no idle time really. So maybe 
maybe getting another person in here might give us extra. I reckon we can get away with the seventh. Let's try it. Let's try it. And here we go. We are being raided 142. So this seems to be the number. And yes, they're spawning over here again. And they're coming straight for the gates. So let's do the sensible thing. So we've got one extra tower now over here. Um, Walled off. So I think they're probably going to attack the same way they did before. It looks like they're going round, actually. So when they start getting shot, I think... Oh, there's more there, too. Uh, Okay. If they come here, that's fine, because then they go straight into that. I just don't want them running up to this. We should be blocking them. A long old trek for them if it's not blocked. And there we go. They are starting to get shot then. That's good. So if we can hit the battering ram, maybe, before it even gets to a wall. Uh, looks like they're coming over here then. That's quite smart by them. We have killed one already, though. I like it. Any Anyone that we can kill before they do anything is great. And these guys, they're, they're not even going to get through this before they die either. So they might change their ways. That's two. We sent another one packing. We'd actually like them to hit the soldiers before anything else. We've got the stone to repair this anyway. So I am going to leave this as normal to do their thing. But what I am going to do is grab these guys to come back. I don't want them messing about. So let's get those all the way over here. And let's hope, hopefully kill off some raiders here. Oh yeah, these, these are going to die before they get anywhere. Which is fantastic. Uh, you guys, if you chase any of these, that's your death, actually. Because you'll go up to that tower. Hopefully our soldier is in there. Um, I've got a villager. Is that a hunter deciding to attack over here? Although when they're attacking the wall... Hey, check you out. There you go. You... There is no way you're just annihilating all those. A hunter. Yes, Ivala. The 18-year-old hunter. She is mopping up. She's had three or four of them already. She's about to take her fifth. Hopefully she doesn't die. What a legend. Okay, one cart person died. They are in, though. That's fine. Please do come down. Please do come down. We'll, we'll be ready with this. Let's get them out ready, then. Because they are a bit slow. Tell you what, we could probably move that all the way over. Let's go here. So they do path on the path every time. They don't try and cut through, which is great, once they're on the paths. Um, that's fine. You guys have made the mistake of splitting off from your herd there. We've killed 23 already before they even get in. This is perfect. And there we go. This this is probably going to... Yeah, I don't think they're getting in at all here. I'll be surprised if they even get through the wall by the looks of this. They're a lot weaker, these soldiers, as you can see. The big boys, I think, are still over here. But all of these smaller ones are getting wiped out. So they're not even going to get through. Yeah, perfect. And then these soldiers are going to go in. So um, just checking. Hopefully not too much death. I think we're fine. And there we go. Yep, they're not getting through this. It might be safe to speed this up. And the towers are still fighting here. They've done well. They've done well. So the, yeah, the way they path was great. So I think... That was quite smart, leaving that blocked and opening up that one. So they're always now going to spawn over that way. And because of that, we can actually just force all our defences over here, right? Um, let's leave them there, though. And I'm actually going to go ahead. I think they're pegging it, to be honest. I think we're okay. Pretty sure that is the end of that attack. Perfect. There you go. So, yeah, with that in mind, then, I think I'm going to leave these because the moment I move them, they'll, they'll bloody spawn over here. It's just the way the game plays. Um, and they can still have a small chance of spawning in there. So we're going to leave all those towers. But what I am going to do is use that to our advantage. And maybe I think we make use of these. And we go ahead and whack them over here. So let's go. Yeah, let's go one there. And because my thinking is these, that's pointless, right? Because we've got the two barracks around this. So they're not really ever going to do anything to this area and then we're going to go maybe one there i'm not really going to uh wall those guys off yet i think we'll leave those for now and uh, we got away with not having to spend too much so the perfect little defense there let's have a look we'll open that one up they killed four villagers we can 100 percent deal with that right now and then we do need to have a look at the uh, traders so i am gonna stop a second because i'm pretty sure two came in Oh, when the iron is that cheap, it is worth just grabbing. I'm going to just spend a little bit of gold on that coal just to buffer it up a little bit more. And then we'll see if I watch this one have more now for cheaper. 
They're both selling iron. No stone or anything. Uh, heavy plate mail and weapons. Cool. I'm going to leave it at that. The furniture is actually ticking up a little bit. So soon we're going to be able to sell those as well. That might be the one item that we potentially do work with. So I'm going to get four more people in there now. I think our population is a little bit more stable to do that. It's starting to look a lot better, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Seven people coming in. Yes, 631. So we are going to have to look at potentially sorting some housing out soon. Which is great. These are upgrading though. It's just this bunch at the back now. So the flagpole going up is great. So we've got this one here that actually just needs like 1%. I don't know if these guys are reaching. I am going to go ahead and upgrade those straight away though. Let's see if there's one thing we can squeeze in for this. So best thing we can do is potentially... Does it reach? It doesn't reach, but... Oh, look at that, man. That one reaches though. I don't like having two in a row though. I'll be honest with you. It's not, not the best looking. Unfortunate with the uh, the layout there. So I think we're going to have to go with some kind of arc area over here. This works, I think. No. That does work. That hits it. So we're going to go like that. Perfect. And that's just for this one. And it does blend in with our park nicely there. And we could do something else here and go with that. I don't want to make it look silly. Because I, I did that. I think my first playthrough, I just slammed down loads of urns. Because they just give ridiculous desirability anyway. That each house pretty much had one, because it gives like 6% on its own, and it fits in one square, which is pretty insane. I will say towards the end of this as well, if there's any uh, city builder games that you are a fan of, please do let me know, because my channel's all about that, the colony builders or strategy. So, yeah, drop drop the uh, suggestions in there as well. Um, I am open to most things. If there's a, a bit of a, a majority on certain games, I would choose those before, because I, I just like all of them in the genre anyway. Right, this forester camp now, I'm going to slowly move this over. So I'm going to go, let's do, I know we've got all those trees there, but they are going to, we're going to have to do this. Let's go over. You know what, let's move it first. So forest, forest camp, let's put you over here. Put you on the end of there. I'm going to move it all the way over here so they start planting. I think our housing is going to go over here. The reason for that is nice and close to work then as well, isn't it? I think that's probably a good idea. It might force the attackers to come this way a little bit, but what I might do is also bin off that road, potentially. I don't know. We're going back to work, though. Here we are. So we're officially going into year 100, guys. I wanted to make sure we hit that this episode. That is awesome. Very, very happy at the moment with how this playthrough has gone. It's been, been a little bit rocky. I won't lie. Right, that one's gone. I'm, I am prioritizing this one because I want to set the trees before anything as well. But there it is. Year 100. So stats for year 100. 637 population. We're looking good on all resources and gold income is fab. The spices are still ticking over nicely. So I'm going to keep slowly transferring in gold to the trading post. And there's still nothing other than maybe bricks that we can transfer in at the moment. Beer is still going in. So that's one thing we can sell potentially. We need someone to buy it before it goes up. But here we go. So what I'm going to do then is go. We're going to lose a little bit of value in these trees here. But that's fine. That is fine. They'll chop what they can there. Um, and then we'll we'll work on potentially getting a marketplace over here. So let's do that. We'll just put in one. Uh, so it's going to spread a little bit. So over probably there is going to be the place to be right in the middle of our trees actually um so i think we're gonna have to move this so i'll wait for now we'll get those kind of chopping that i don't want them planting there they seem to plant in the middle anyway and then and then go out um birth rate is ridiculous though they love it just entertainment i don't know why they're saying that are you not entertained i think it's just because of the beer stuff um i think we're gonna have to get into the books then so I think I'm going to make another book binder. Uh, they sell anyway, right? So where's the book stuff? Book binder, book binder, book binder. There we go. We're going to get another one right in there. And I'm going to put it the same. Boom. And traveling merchant. And there they are selling beer, not buying it. Damn you. Okay. Uh, there's a, it's a spice trader, but I'm not paying that price for it. We just, yeah, we're not paying over price. We need, uh, we need a good amount, so... I think I, I could potentially start to get some of this furniture in and maybe sell it. Could potentially sell heavy tools when possible and uh, maybe heavy armor when possible. But again, we need the surplus of that. 
Uh, with the amount of towers going in, though, I don't know whether to increase this by two more as well. We could. This one is just ridiculously strong. And another merchant. So we'll make this the last bit of stuff we do. They aren't buying the furniture, so we will sell that straight away. That's 500 gold. Trade number two. And it's a beer buyer. It's a beer buyer, and they're selling these. So we are going to buy that in. I'm going to go ahead and sell that. I know it's a reduced rate, but we will do it anyway. It's still really, really good on the tallow. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Building needs more workers. Firewood splitter. No, I'm leaving that disabled at the moment. We did upgrade it. But guys, that is going to be where we end this one out. So we're going to begin setting up our new thing. So the marketplace is smack bang in the middle of all those trees. And our mushroom trees. And we, we've, we, we're we good. Population is flying now. I'm going to turn it back on so you can see. 642. We got through the, the illness there as well. And we did put in a new well. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that one straight away. But guys, please do smash that thumbs up for me. If you are new around here, consider subbing as well. And uh, drop a little hello in the comments. And if you want to become a member of the channel, please do consider that as well. As it helps support me. As always, guys, do take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.